The same advertisement mm. which will work very well on television cannot be cut to 10 seconds and put on Facebook. There's a lot of talk about tech in marketing, right? And you know, everybody is talking digital transformation and there is this term MarTech that we hear. So how have you seen marketers embrace technology in the last two, three years? What are the changes you've seen with regard to marketing? And so embracing? the large companies, which is like the Procter & Gamble and Unilever and all, they mm. have been in the forefront of adopting technology for marketing right away. Mm. And the big difference is the models were basically madman oriented, creative mm. types to mm. mathman oriented, algorithmic mm. types. And mm. We have made that transition. What the pandemic did was it put all small local businesses mm on digital platforms. Mm. If you were a small restaurant, mm. you were a small shop, you had no choice but mm. to sign up for Facebook and Google mm. stores right. if you were going to get any sales. Right. So the big change in the last three years has been in the technology for the smaller mom and pop stores, mm. all adopting digital platform. Mm. And the big push for digital has been from the smaller company, not from the bigger company, because they were already digitalized mm. before mm. that. But still, there is a balance that CMOs have to strike between growth sales activation models that are digital and brand building models that are still more in the traditional world. Do you think CMOs are really taking a fresh look at digital? Because, you know, one, you are now seeing as the pandemic is easing off, you are seeing mass media coming back. In fact, I also hear that it is only when you have a very focused audience that digital is cost effective. That when you're looking at a dispersed audience, they're still finding mass media quite effective. Secondly is in terms of mindsets. People seem to be treating Facebook like another TV channel, like another meet. So it's still very mechanistic when you're looking at impressions and things like that. In terms of people really having an integrated digital strategy. Are you seeing that? I mean, are you seeing companies? Yeah, so more network? sophisticated companies are doing that and all, mm. all the ad agencies have made acquisitions to mm. add the digital mm. world to their competency and capabilities, you know, framework. Mm. Now, two things that you said. First thing you said was we need to integrate our offline and online campaigns so that we have the maximum impact for the mm. customer mm. because the customer is neither online nor offline, they're both. Yeah. Mm. Secondly, you, the thing is that what you said was that the same advertisement mm. which will work very well on television cannot be cut to 10 seconds mm. and put on Facebook. Right. In television, I'm designing an advertisement so that you are not, you don't Cut away mm. from the television and mm. watch it. Mm. In Facebook and Instagram, I'm designing an advertisement so that you will look at it and share it. Right. Two mm. completely different things. Mm. You see, so the same ad is not effective across. In fact, the same ad on Facebook is not effective on Instagram. Mm. Mm. 